Matthew here. Today I'm so excited to announce that Inkdrop version 5 has been just released. It comes with a bunch of new features and improvements and bug fixes. I'd like to say thank you to all the customers who helped me test the better versions. Thank you so much. And in this video, I'd like to show you what's new in version 5. So let's get started. So what is Inkdrop? This is a plain text markdown noting app that runs on macOS, Windows, and Linux, and also on the mobile platforms like iOS and Android. It allows you to stay your notes organized with nestable notebooks, pin notes to top, tags, and workspace view. It comes with a versatile markdown editor with multi-language code highlighting, multi-cursors, line numbers, toggling task items by mouse clicks, and more. Track your work progress with node status and task progress view in the node list. It syncs your notes across devices safely with end-to-end -end encryption. So, Inkdrop makes organizing Markdown notes simple without hassles and increases your productivity. I've been working on this product for four years, but actually I'm not building it alone. Because Inkdrop provides a powerful API that allows you to add new functionality or provide a new look to the app with a plugin. While I've been working on core features alone, we've got more than 100 plugins now. Most of them are made by our user community, which is awesome. I'm happy to see people enjoying hacking Inkdrop. Okay, let's start from talking about performance improvement in Inkdrop v5. The app launch speed has been significantly improved. Inkdrop is built on top of Electron, and the old version needed 4 seconds to launch, which is very slow. I finally managed to leverage V8 snapshots to boost the startup time. As you can see, the new version takes less than a thousand milliseconds to launch. The slow startup speed is so stressful. But now, I'm very happy to solve this issue. Next change is the refurbished icons and the cleaner UI. The toolbar icons look kind of outdated these days. They were too bold for the recent high resolution displays. Besides, the action buttons on the top of the editor were taking too much spaces which makes you uncomfortable to use in a smaller display. So I decided to refurbish the icons and rearrange the editor action buttons to make it look modern and clean. As you can see, it got slim and stylish icons with clean toolbar. You can toggle the editor drawer by clicking the three dash button on the top right corner of the editor. As a developer, you will get many projects and side projects. As you get more projects, it gets harder to organize your notes uh, in version 4 uh, due to lack of flexibility. Inkdrop should be durable to be always your place to jot down your daily hacking endeavors, even if you've got uh, a lot of notebooks and tags and notes. In this update, I'm so happy to introduce five new features, which are pin notes to the top, and find subnotes in Crop's parent notebooks, workspace view, member sort no order settings per view, and remember navigation state. Let me explain those details. Let's say you sometimes have trouble remembering which notes you are working on in Inkdrop. The pin to top feature allows you to make notes stick to the top of your note list like this. Before version 5, the note list can only show notes directly under the notebook you selected. If you have a lot of child and grandchild notebooks, it was kind of annoying to grab quickly what's in the project. As you can see, Inkdrop version 5 supports listing subnotes when the selected notebook is collapsed on the sidebar. Notice that the null count badge on the right side of the notebook item on the sidebar also indicates some of the number of notes in it when collapsed. By default, the sidebar shows all notebook status and tags in your data. It's all mixed together and hard to distinguish as you saw notes about various projects. You may think that you want to see only information about the projects you are currently focusing on. Workspace view allows you to switch the sidebar's view into a specific notebook. Now it remembers sort and order of note list for every view such as all notes, notebook, tag, and status, so that you don't have to toggle sort order between notebooks. While writing a note, you may frequently refer to other notes. So, an ability to quickly switch back to the editing node after searching notes is crucial for your note taking. 
V5 remembers navigation step history so that you don't have to click many times to go back just like this. Plugins can be installed by uh, IPM command, but uh, it was not so handy because you have to run it from uh, uh, terminal app. As we've got uh, uh, more than 100 plugins, it is more important that we can install and uninstall plugins directly from the app. So I implemented uh, the plugin GUI in version 5. It's so easy to install and uninstall plugins without switching to uh, terminal app. It also supports auto updates, so you no longer have to run IPM update manually. We've got many more improvements and bug fixes in this update, so please refer to the release note down below to learn more detail. So that's pretty much of it, and I hope you like this update, and uh, I'll keep it up. And thank you for supporting me in Group as always, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys enjoying it. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Peace.